Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and let me show you, let me show it to you as an example how the Quad Me Up Beacon, the UAV recovery system I showed you on the bench few few days ago, will be more or less working. Like I said, there will be two modules, one on the aeroplane and second one somewhere on your in your in your backpack, in your car, anywhere. If you crash, somewhere there somewhere there and without exactly knowing where you crashed what you will have to do you will have to take the receiver module like this one it's only 100% prototype-ish but it already has a small is it visible is the OLED, OLED display visible yeah let's say right now it receives the pings from the transmitter module shows your position, your number of sats, the position of the beacon and the distance. In the future, instead, well, not only uh, not only the distance, but also more or less the direction to the beacon will be shown. Right now we only have a distance and I know that I crashed there. So let me take the camera. Okay, let me take the camera. Let's take a look at the beacon again. I really wonder if you can see anything, anything. Why you no focusing? Oh, now you are focusing, okay. The distance is 104 meters. So, let's start walking. And we walk, and we walk. We walk some more. Still some more, oh, sorry. This is really a bumpy meadow over here and after walking a few steps we are all only 83 meters from the beacon so let's continue walking in the general direction of where more or less everything crashed um, it should i really like my camera but sometimes the focus on this thing is just ah it should be more or less somewhere there the distance 22 meters, 20 meters, 19 meters, and if I go this direction, oh, it's growing. It went from 19 to 22, that means I have to walk in this direction right now. Six. Six meters. Now we have to start looking for it. Well, I'm only pretending I'm looking for it because I exactly know where I've put it. And here it is. You see? Here it is. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Of course, after, like you see, it's still the difference on more or less two meters. This, but this is because. Oh. But this is because how the GPS more or less is working. Uh, each module, depending on the noise around and the position and the module itself, can give you slightly, slightly different readings. Plus the accuracy of the signal that actually is sent over the air protocol is only like, I forgot, six digits after the comma. So there is an error or or at least few centimeters or even meters, but even so, the GPS is not really 100% precise. But still, being able to find something with an accuracy of two meters, quite nice, right? What else? I'm not done with the development. The plan is, like I said, to have a heading, and the plan is to have some kind of filtering, multi-beacon support, and probably also because the receiver is based on the ESP32 modules. There will be a way to connect this to your smartphone to display the position on the map. How cool is that? Okay, uh, it was a nice day, but I think, yeah, I think it's for time for me to go home and have a dinner. Until the next one. Bye.